Thank you. Now, just for a second, I'd like you to imagine that you sat behind the wheelie car. You're in the fast lane. It's late at night, but the car's stopped and you're facing the wrong direction. This is where I found myself uh, seven years ago. I was about six months into a 12 month internship and after a long, really tough week, I was driving home for the weekend. And as I'd gone to overtake a car out of the middle lane, I hit a, a patch of sleet and did the worst thing possible. I slammed on the brakes. So as I started to veer across the lanes, I tried to recover it. My car spun 180 degrees and I crashed backwards into the central reservation. Luckily, I wasn't hurt. The car was a little bit of a mess, but I was okay. Now, the reason I want to tell you that story is not to laugh at my bad driving skills, but it was more to do with what had happened that day. I was, uh, I'd recently been um, promoted into a, a junior management position, uh, which was great at the time because my, uh, my, uh, I was being assessed for the year, the internship year, and the grade went towards my university degree. But that came with a little bit more responsibility. And on this particular day, I walked across the, the sort of packed out production hall and I heard one of the senior managers scream my name and at the top of his lungs, he was blaming me for a pallet of products that hadn't been shipped to a customer. So as all the eyes fell on me, I completely froze and never said a word. As the day went on, I became more and more frustrated. I was frustrated that I got the blame for something that wasn't my fault, but I was more frustrated that I'd not said anything, I'd not confronted the manager. It wasn't my fault, so why didn't I just step in? We have a discussion and we resolve it, but I didn't, I stayed quiet. So by the time I was driving home that evening, I was so angry, it was the last thing that I thought about before I went to overtake that car. Now, of course, I'm not saying that every time you don't confront a difficult situation, you're going to end up in a, in a dangerous position or put yourself in a dangerous position. But it can affect you in other ways. It can not only ruin your day, but it can make you um, dread going into work. It can affect relationships in and out of work. And I believe that we live in a society of overthinkers, so you know what it's like if you, if you send a text or an email and you don't get a response, you worry about it. What have you said? What have you not said? The same if you, if you make a phone call and no one's phoned you back. You worry about it. But when you're in a situation where someone's in front of you, and it's, even if it's a difficult situation, if it's, if it's a boss at work that you might not want to confront, if you don't confront it, you can put yourself in a, in, in a difficult position. So that would be my advice. If you find yourself in that position, Make sure you confront it, because I can guarantee that more often than not, you'll get a better outcome. Thank you.